guitar in 1945 at 13. By the time he was 15, he could play well enough to perform publicly. Leo played the blues from 1947 to 1975, continuously. Every now and then he played some gospel. In 1975, Leo moved into the church, started playing predominantly gospel. He would play blues from time to time, maybe a picnic here and there. I've known Leo all of my life, I'm 50 years old. We have lived within 15 miles of each other at the most. I spent 29 years in the Army, so those are some of the reasons why. The first time I heard him play was this past April at my 50th birthday. And the first song he played, it was clear to me that I hadn't heard anybody better than him. I had people as good, but not better. So if the world is wondering how they missed this handsome fellow for the last 67 years, it's no big deal. I was right underneath his feet and missed him as well. <laughs> but unbeknownst to him, while he was playing at my birthday party, I secretly videotaped him. <laughs> All right. Exactly. And what I've done with that video is the reason why he's here. This gentleman released his first album January the 7th of this year. All right. And the name of that album is Sabogla Voices. You probably heard some. And after saying that, I also have 25 copies of those albums in vinyl for $20 and I have a backpack full of CDs for 15. And during this break, Leo will be more than happy to autograph and play you, take a picture, drink a beer or whatever. But for your enjoyment, for your enjoyment, there's one thing that we set out to do was to bring Mississippi to Minnesota in the dead of the winter. the end of the winter, we wanted to come from sunny Mississippi. M is from Mississippi, M is from Minnesota. We want to bring Mississippi right here. To warm things up. Without any further ado, please introduce yourself with your guitar, Leo. Thank you. 